Well, a couple of minutes in, it's definitely working. Maybe I need like a scouring pad or something. I think I need a scouring pad. A toothbrush or something like that. It's gonna do it. We've been going about an hour with this now. Uh, top tip is probably to, I mean you might not already know, but I wouldn't try and uh, cover the whole frame because it all starts bubbling up, but it, it dries back, the paint sort of melts bubbles up and it does dry back pretty quick so you end up coating it twice. But it is coming off, it is doing it. Chain stays are a nightmare. And in the little welds in the corner down here, these are a pain. But it can be done. Alright, I think that's as far as I'm going to get with paint stripper for now. I can get the rest of that with sanding and polishing really. So, yeah. Success I reckon. It's taken an hour and a half to do that. Pretty evil stuff is that paint stripper. The idea with it, I've got this as a cheap hardtail to build up just as a winter beater sort of a thing. But the uh, the paint that comes on these Brand X frames is absolute garbage. It scratches for nothing. It just looked really shabby. So it was just as easy to take it off really. And I've always wanted a raw frame, so it was cheap enough to just chance it <laughs> and see how it turned out. So, so yeah, got the frame and the forks for 140 quid off a guy on Facebook. It was just for nothing really. The frame's fine. There's no cracks in it or anything. It's barely been ridden. The forks had just had a service, so you could pay 140 quid just for forks. So the frame were essentially for for free. So there's some uh, there's some man maths there for you. I know I'm going to tidy up out here now, and hopefully I can get to do another video on polishing it soon. She's all polished up. Pretty pleased, to be honest. It's taken about a day. It's all nice and shiny. So yeah, literally a day. I thought I'd be on it for weeks, to be totally honest. So we used wet and dry paper, um, microfiber cloth for polishing, some wire wool, and some auto sole. Auto sole onto there, onto the frame. Done. Surprisingly easy. Obviously, natural in the frame saved a lot of time. I mean, I'm not going to say it's the most perfect thing in the world, but it's good enough for me. You know what I mean, I'll, the first thing I'll do is probably crash and scratch it up. But I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm looking forward to getting some parts back on it. I'm going for... Blue. So hopefully that'll look quite cool. It's not a it's a bit of a budget build, it's not a it's not gonna have the fanciest parts on it. The idea is to do it fairly cheaply, really. There's the hands boss nut in there, she's waiting. For that, but I can't. I'm missing a. You can see, I'm missing the rocker link. It goes from there to there for the shock. And 
they've been out of stock for about six months, so I'm not getting one of them anytime soon. I'm thinking about stealing these cheap cranks off here because they're all silver. I'll get get the handsome proper Shimano ones on. These are only what are they? Fun, fun, whatever they are. They were on sale in chain. They're like thirty-five quid with a bottom bracket. It's probably like cheese is the bottom bracket, but if, you know if you get a few months out of it, whatever. Bronson's on the wall, we're getting ignored. Trials bike is on the wall, where it's been for a year. I'm going to learn trials, and, well, it hasn't moved from there. So, it's another thing in the pipeline. And obviously the, the bike cave, which I haven't done an update on in... God knows how long, probably six months. I'm just throwing the bench together out of some bits I had left over. I'm still missing a sheet of OSB for the wall the door needs lifting so that's why that wall ain't done either I've had to pull that board off of there to do some wiring I can't do the ceiling so all the plumbing and wiring for my house has got to be done yet all up there but it's coming along I've got some flooring down to try and soften the noise in here and I ran out on about 10 short just to finish it off but we're getting there Anyway, hopefully, there'll be a build video coming soon. We've got a bit of messing about to do, so in these cable guides up here, they're like old style, where you would have a length of outer, then it'd stop, you'd put a ferrule on, and then you'd have bare cable coming from between here to here. So they're all, they all need drilling out to allow you to get a full outer cable in. So like there, that needs drilling out for an hour. That needs re-drilling because you can see you could only get you'd only get the cable itself in there. So that wants drilling out. When you live in England, you don't want exposed cables. You want them you want them in an hour, really. So there's a bit of fannying around to do with it. All the headset and stuff is here. Seat clamp is here. The seat clamp could even go on for argument's sake. There. So yeah, I think the blue goes pretty good with that. Whether that's the right way around or not, I'm not sure. I think that's where I'd put it, surely. Anywho. Um, wheel sets there. Wheel set is a Halo Chaos, but these have been absolutely bad. This rear wheel is like a pretzel, so whether it'll true up or not, I really am not sure. So that might be scrap. Front wheel's all right. Forks are here in a pile. A set of sectors. They're a little bit bashed. They're not the most perfect thing, but they have been serviced, so they're sort of good to go, really. Might even colour match the decals. Get some stickers on. I'm not really that fussy on these things normally, but if I've gone to effort, I might as well, I suppose. But yeah, so that's probably going to be it for. It's probably going to be it for this video, really. God knows when the next one will be. Probably another six months, knowing me. But if you enjoyed if you enjoyed this give us a like and a subscribe and if you've got any suggestions on cheap parts for the build or anything like that or any questions give us just just let us know in the comments. Uh, cheers for watching. Catch you later.